technically, emotionally, spiritually, today is Nasi Biryani, Friday. But then because it's 2pm and I just left my house, so I'm guessing that Biryani is sold out. I'm going to try my luck anyway, just to see lah, whether it's still there. Because I haven't eaten it for two weeks. So in any case, today is going to be a very simple day. I don't really know how interesting today's vlog will be. But I'm going to visit two places that is very far from my house. So the first place is, uh, you, will know about this, you will know about this first place very soon. But I have not visited this place since I was 7 or 8. So I really, I really need to know how, I really want to know how uh, this place has developed. Lah. I mean it's free. So the second place is somewhere near there. I've heard about this place for quite a while, so I'm very interested to see what the big fuss is all about. Uh, it's actually a cafe, lah. It's actually a very, it's a very nice little cafe that has received a lot of rave reviews. So that's Friday for me. Six days to Europe. I'm now at Hapa Villa Park, also known as the Tiger Bomb Gardens. It used to be known as the as, as a Tiger Bomb. Eh, it used to be known as the Tiger Bomb Gardens because it was built by the uh, same two brothers who developed Tiger Bomb. You know the the ointment for pain, also called Life. So anyway, so if you see here this grey sculpture here. This used to be a dragon. It was a huge colourful dragon that uh, uh, adorned postcards uh, in, of, of Singapore at that time. Uh, Haupa Villa is when I was uh, what 8 or 9, Haupa Villa is the Marina Bay Sands of my time. So you can just imagine how huge it is. Uh, but at that time, the admission fee was $16. $16 for a park so uh, naturally people uh, was not happy and they didn't visit so the whole park closed down I'm quite surprised that this place actually still stands because most of the time people, the government would just demolish they, they could just easily demolish this place and build a condominium on top of it or a HDB estate because it's so near the MRT station it is that near the MRT station the MRT station is there see I just had to walk 5 minutes and I'm here already. So, uh, I'm visiting this park today just to revisit my childhood because the last time I came here was when I was 6 or 7. Yep. Now it's free. Completely free and it's open from 9 to 7 as you can see. Look at the... Look at the intricacies of shading, see, on this thing. Look at that. There's shading on this. Oh, that's definitely a snake. <laughs> oh, it's a long snake. This park was built in 1937. Uh, there's 1,000 statues here. 1,000. And 150 giant dioramas. This whole park is divided into ten parts. Uh, the most, the most interesting part is, of course, the what do you call this? The ten courts of hell. So that's how big the that's how big the park is. Gonna visit the topmost areas first, which is the Saga of the Immortals. Here. 
visit here first. As compared to the other places that I've been to, I can honestly say this is like the first time I've been here. Because I the only memory I have of coming to Hapa Villa was uh in it was of taking the boat ride. There's this boat ride that goes into the mouth of a dragon. Uh, I'll try to put a picture in the in this video for reference. Yeah, but other than that, I feel like I've never I mean I have never been here before. So this is really really interesting to me. And this is free, the admission is free. So everyone should come here and take a look at this place, regardless of whether you are a local or whether you are a tourist. If you are a local and you haven't been here, Sentosa has nothing on this. Nothing. I mean, check out these owls. They look perpetually surprised. Surprise owls, what are they looking at? What are they looking at? Oh, what is that? It's a surprise panda with huge oversized owls. Interesting. a park filled with uh, statues of humans that looks almost lifelike it is an inevitable that a park such as this gain notori notoriety for being haunted so what uh, the security officials here will do at night when they when they do their rounds of this place is that they will leave uh, food offerings at the base of some of the statues uh, for protection yeah uh, the rumors, rumors. Uh, they say people say that uh, the statues here are actually humans, humans uh, being covered in wax. So, don't know how true that is, but there must be a reason why this park this park closes at seven p.m. I think we have to remember that after all, this place was built in nineteen thirty-seven. But the fact that some of the uh, artifacts on display are still in rather good conditions as is, be as is what is shown behind me uh, shows the level of artistry the le level of workmanship that the creators of this place actually put into this uh, park it's quite fascinating actually so I'm now walking past a whole level of dioramas which is interesting how building a theme park for his brother was not enough so he decided to engage the help of a leading architect of the modern movement in Singapore to help him build a mansion on top of the hill of Hapa Villa Park when it was completed in the 1930s 
the villa on top of Hapa Villa Park was one of the most beautiful mansions in Singapore. However, in, the 19, in 1942, when the Japanese occupation came to Singapore, the Japanese decided to use the mansion as a watchtower because it overlooks the sea. When the Japanese occupation was over, the residents nearby, in anger for their captors, decided to destroy the mansion. When Boon Paul came back to Singapore to take a look at the mansion, he realised that the mansion was in a bad state. And instead of restoring the mansion to its former glory, he decided to pick up all the pieces, destroy the mansion forever. I am about to enter the 10 courts of hell. Uh, what you should know is that in the 1990s, there used to be a river that runs through this, this entrance here and this used to be a huge colourful dragon. So the, mem the only memories I have of Hapa Villa is of taking a boat, a wooden boat that goes through this entrance. So there's a lot of parental guidance uh, notice at the outside of the of the entrance, of the main entrance regarding the 10 uh, courts of hell because it's quite graphic in nature. So it's rather dark inside. I'll try my best to film it though. There we go. I'm done. Spent around one and a half hours here and I'm gonna make my way to a cafe nearby called Paddy Hills. Uh, he has gotten a lot of uh, reviews, good reviews, so I'm just gonna go and check it out since I will never come back to this area ever again unless I absolutely have to. So I hope this Hapa Villa uh, trip tour has been informational for everyone. Come and visit before the government decides to take back the land and destroy everything in its way. Okay, I made a mistake. I keep calling this cafe Paddy Fields because it makes the most sense, but it's actually called Paddy Hills. And that's right behind me, that's where it is. This is the beautiful wall art of Paddy Hills. As a clear indication of how, of how often I don't come here, I'm lost. I'm lost at NUH. Look at this bus. Well, that is an old bus. Yeah, but anyway, I found my way, so I'm gonna end my day here today. I'm gonna go home and do some edits for this video so that it will be up by tomorrow or tonight. Bye! Don't be choosing, girl, don't be afraid